everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals, and I'm going to make the four flat box fold today. And so I hope you'll come along with me and watch. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the four flat box fold, that's what I call it. And these are the pieces, so I've cut them all out. I think this is gonna be really pretty. And these are the pockets. We've got these two flaps, which you can decide for yourself how, if you wanna put these two on the inside to go with this, or actually like that, if you wanna do that, or if you want to put them on the back and use just to break these up. And then you can use these two flaps on the inside and kind of alternate it. So it's up to you. I think I want to break it up. So I'm going to probably do these on the outside, on the back side, so to speak. <clears throat> so, and so the scripture, because this, this journal, I don't know if I've named it appropriate or not. I'm calling it the abundance journal, but it's a journal for you to encourage yourself um, for your needs, that God will provide your, your in the physical world, <laughs> your needs, money, food, whatever it is you need, uh, that God supplies those things. And so the scripture for this is, and God is able to make all grace of overflow to you so that always having all sufficiency and everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. So not only will you have enough for yourself, but you're going to have an abundance. So you'll have more than enough to give out to other people. And so that's his promise. And so that's kind of the centerpiece of this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the pieces and I will not make you watch me do that. Um, I'm just going to go around all the edges with my photo, vintage photo ink, and then I will come back. Okay, I've got my inking done, and you'll need um, some washi tape, or on the last one, the last one of these I made, I used uh, strips of cloth, and... Um, glue and just use that to what you're going to do is reinforce these edges here because there's going to be a lot of folding of this and so you need to put something to reinforce it so now I said I was going to use those on the flip side so that means I'm going to put these on the inside where did I just I just had that there they are I don't know about you guys but I feel like I spend half my time crafting and half my time looking for things. <laughs> so, okay, so these are the two I'm going to put inside. And so I've got my washi tape. I'm going to use that this time. And then these are the pockets. And I've you can do them however you want. I've made this one with without rounded corners to go up here at the top so that when it's open, it, the pocket is at the bottom. And then these are readable if you want them to be, if you put them that way. So I think what I'll do is use um, my Barely Art glue. Actually, I think I will attach these flaps first. That's probably the best course of action. So uh, I'm looking for a washi tape that's not real eye-catching, just something that kind of blends in. Looks like I need to clean my glue tip out again. And you know, I'm sure you know, you're not, you don't want to just use washi tape that's uh, just the sticky, the glue on the tape is not enough to be archival. So if you want these journals to last for a long time, you want to reinforce the glue with some real glue, some uh, art glitter glue or barely glue or some sort of glue. Okay. And then I'm going to, even though these are attached, I'm going to go ahead and glue 
piece of tape on these sides so that they won't wear out if people open and shut this a lot at some point. So, okay. This one's not gonna move, so it's easy to do. <laughs> This one at the top, and that will be the inside. You can always go back and trim that tape later. These flaps are just a little bit smaller than the middle square. See if I can get this to okay, and I'm gonna trim these pieces of glue. And so you want to fold it, and I folded these already with a folding bone. You want to make sure that everything folds and doesn't bind, that you can shut it and everything lays flat. If it does, though, it's no problem. You can trim this, trim the edges of these flaps as much as you need to, and it's it still works. So do whatever you need to do to make sure that it shuts properly. And then you flip it over, and we'll go ahead and glue those flaps on. So let's see, let me check this again. So this is right side. Okay, so, oh, I know what I wanna do. I wanna actually shut these, cause this is what you'll see. So if you want this to look readable, so to speak, you might wanna do it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and glue those. One less egg to fry, one less mouth to feed. <laughs> okay, line that up as best you can. If you get any white flashes, don't worry about it because you can trim it down and it won't hurt anything. And you'll go over it with ink on the edges, the photo distressing, uh, vintage photo distressing when you're all done. And that'll touch up any little white flashes you get from the paper. Okay, and then these two flaps. The, this is kind of a abstract piece of art that I put on here so it doesn't really have an up and down. But you can decide for yourself how you like it. And we'll glue those flaps on. If you're gonna stitch it at the machine, you really just, you don't have to glue it very much because of course the stitches will hold it better than anything else. So then you just need glued enough to kind of tack it down. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna stitch it or not. I'm always glad when I do it because it does really look cool. So I probably will, but just in case Line those up. Okay, then you open it up. And actually, I think I'll go ahead and uh, put washi tape again and reinforce it.
Okay, and so then, see, see that white flesh there? I can either take scissors and trim it in there, or I can just hit it with the ink and it'll fix it. Fix it right up. So I'm gonna put the glue on this pocket so I don't have any extra on there. Line it up. This has got a menu from a ship from like the 1800s, I think or the early 1900s, I'm not sure, but it's a menu of different foods. Apple dumpling with wine sauce, it says. This has boiled, boiled turkey with salt pork and egg sauce. Ooh, wow, that doesn't sound quite as appetizing. <laughs> I don't know that advertising that it's been boiled is a good idea. Maybe back then that was a delicacy. I don't know. <laughs> you want to be sure you don't get it down. Don't glue it down past the fold or it won't fold very well. So check it. And make sure that you have it gone past the fold. So I guess it's just on that one pocket that you've got to worry about it. And then put this one on. Okay, and then, uh, let's see. I guess then I get to decide if I wanna stitch it. I think I will stitch it, actually, because I think it'll look a lot better. And I need to trim the, trim the washi tape out of the corners again, because that will tend to bind things up. I know that ink will take care of that white flesh, but I'm kind of tempted to just go ahead and cut it, just to trim it off a little bit there. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna run over to the sewing machine and do the edges and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's the finished product. Um, imperfectly stitched and all. So this is how it folds. One way it can fold, you get your choice. <clears throat> and don't be afraid to bend these flaps and get it to fold. Make sure it lays right. And this one's not for some reason. It Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm, that's weird. These flaps are overlapping, which uh, is not going to work. I don't think. Let me see. Let me see if it works. Okay, it works better that way. But they're still kind of button against each other. So I am going to trim. Can't really trim because I got my stitching so close, but I'm going <laughs> to. Trim just a little bit off. And that's what I mean about, you can trim these down and do whatever you need to do with them. And then this one, that's pretty close to the edge too, but I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. Okay. That tapes. Not wanting to go all the way around. That looks like it's kind of binding too, so I'm, I'm going to trim that just a little bit too. Let's see. Okay, so a little bit different every time I do it, huh? Okay, so that's pretty good. It lays that way. Now let me fold it the other way and see if it works. 
Let's see. Uh, let's see. I think this is different than the way it was before. Yeah, no, well, so it lays pretty good now. And it will it'll be fine in the journal because that'll push it down too. But it's pretty good. All right, so there is the four flat box fold, and then you'll just put glue on the back and glue it into your journal. Or if you want to, you could just tuck it in a pocket. I think it's really too wide to do that, probably. You'd have to put it in a corner pocket, but you can glue it in. And looking at what else we have, we have the two flaps. I'm gonna look in here and see. Oh, I might want to glue these. I kind of like to spread out these special things in different places. These signatures, as they're in there, like it might be good to have this on, like if this signature is like this, this might be a good one to put. What I usually do is look through and see if there's pages that I really hate. <laughs> and cover them up with some of these special items when I make them, but I don't really have any pages that I hate in here, I don't think. I might just go ahead and glue this in and also make sure you got it right side up because I've done that before too. There's a plain page there, that's probably a good place for it. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I would pull it out as, to the edge and away from the fold because when you open it, it needs some room to work. So if you glue it way down there in the uh, fold where it's bound, it's gonna give you a problem. So just keep that in mind. I think I'll put this in if I can find another place. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this up and show it to you kind of what I had in mind. So if you if you lay them right, if you get them glued in right, they make a, one complete image. And I'm not sure, well, yeah, I guess I, I guess I'll ink them. I gonna say I'm not sure it needs to be inked, but everything seems to look better inked, doesn't it? Or is it just me? your tab folded down. Just pulling the folder to get it nice and flat. Woo. Okay. And then these are your two little pockets. And you can use, if you want to, a, get a big circle cutter, circle punch, to punch the little half circle or little moon shape to make it look more like a pocket. Looks cute. If you want to do that, you have the punch. You could also use scissors if you want to trace around a glue bottle or something. You can make yourself a little half circle to cut out. You know what I mean? Like just set that over and, and trace around it if you don't have a punch. Okay, let's see. So I'm just going to barely cut, kind of eyeball where the center is. Cut a little notch in it. Same thing with this one. And ink that real quick. Well, we've had our freeze here. Our, you know, it hasn't gotten to be a really hard killing freeze yet. I still have some ferns on my porch that haven't died, but pretty much we're done. My fish and my fish pond are kind of in a semi coma. <laughs> 
they're not eating. I'm, I've stopped feeding them. You've stopped feeding them when it gets cold and they hibernate or whatever they do in the winter. Last year we had like 15 below zero here and I was really worried about whether they were gonna live or not. But they made it, they were just fine. They're, they're koi and I've got four koi now. Got rid of my goldfish and I've got just koi. I don't name them because you know, <laughs> things happen. So I don't I don't need to feel bad about pets that are named. So I don't name my fish. Okay, so you glue the pockets in and then these are flaps that will lift up and they go together. So let me see, yeah, here it is. So see how this is one image and so my intention was to glue them so that they come together and make a make the one image, which may be easier said than done, but I'm gonna try it. So if I lay my flap where it lines up, I'm gonna hold it, hold it with one hand to try to keep it in its place. I might scoot it just a uh, Here's the thing with this glue. You can reposition a little bit. <laughs> Let's see, does that work still? Yeah, I needed the rim at the bottom there. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on this flap and then position this right up against the Line it up with the picture above it. And, oh wow, see how crooked that got? Oh, that's the problem with trying to be perfect. Okay. So my picture lines up, which is what I mainly care about. Okay, back, let's back up. Cut the second flap out. Let me ink these. And also I need to punch little half moon circles on these. Forgot what I had designed. It's been so long since I designed this kit. Forgot all about it. Good thing I saw that when I did. Line that up. Hopefully that's not, you can't really afford to cut a very deep uh, notch on this because you've got a pocket that's gonna go on the bottom of it. Okay, so my intention was to do this kind of thing and do kind of a stack. So that means you gotta glue this one in. I'm gonna make a little mark here so I know where my pocket's gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna glue it up here. Now I'm gonna come back with the short pocket Now that looks cooler, don't you think? And then this one, you just wanna make sure you can raise it up as much as you want, but you kinda of want it to still be able to have something in it so it can't go up very far. Maybe about like that, something like that. So, put a line on it. Glue that in. And then I'm gonna trim this off here. Glue this again on top of that last one. And that goes right at the top of that flap.
Okay, there we go. So there's two pockets and two pockets, and it makes a complete picture. All right, now we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna finish, that's it for today, and then we'll, I'll come back and do um, some more of the things in the kit on the next video. So if you liked the video, click the like button, please. That would be awesome. And if you think about it and want to subscribe, do that too. That'd be great. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.